Hi everyone, my name is Jordan and today I'm going to be showing you how to manipulate your data in FitPro. Uh, we're going to set up and edit a database as well and we're going to import and export your data. Okay, so let's get started with the FitPro software. Uh, first thing we're going to do is set up the database. So we always include a blank database on a USB flash drive with every port account rental. So just go ahead and plug that one in, open up the FitPro software. You'll see the icon right here looks like this. And so we've got it open. Now to get the blank database imported, we're gonna select database. We're gonna to go to the data record tools first. So to import the database, we'll select the flash drive tab. Click Browse. This is how you're going to select the blank database from the flash drive. So find your flash drive in here. We've got USB drive. And there is the port account database, TSI port account DB. So we'll open that up. And the destination database is going to be the default. That's just getting it into FitPro. And we will click Import. So now we've successfully imported it. So we'll go back to the main menu here. And from here, now we can start adding things into our database. So you can go to database edit and you can see we can change the people, the respirator, the fit test table, or the protocol table. So let's start off with the people. As you can see, uh, I've added a few in here already, um, but I'll show you the process real quick. To add a person, just click New, and we can start typing in the info. So I'll go ahead and use uh, one of my coworkers here, Matt. Just creating ID numbers here. A lot of companies uh, have those assigned to their employees. And once you've filled in everything that you want, uh, we'll just save it and confirm that save. And now we've got another person added into our database. So again, you can see if I go into the people table here. So I had three people in there before, now I've got four. I've got Chris, Nick, Andrew, and Matt. So now we've got people in, we want to get the respirators into the database. So we'll go to database edit, respirator table. And again, we've got a blank database, so there's nothing in this drop down box here. We'll select new. And this is where you're going to input any any mask that you're using for your fit test. Even if you know one person is uh, using that mask, go ahead, add it into the database. So uh, for our purposes, I'll just make something up here. Uh, Scott model AV2000. Not sure if that's a half or a full, but go with half face. And if it's a half face, uh, Pretty good reference. A lot of people sometimes call us asking about this. Uh, the fit factor pass level for a half face, the OSHA standard is 100. Uh, that's going to be your fit factor. And uh, for a full face, you need a fit factor of 500. So keep that in mind. Now, approval is pretty much uh, just somebody signing off on this saying, hey, you know, I'm initialing this. I know that. Uh, Andrew ran his fit test and he passed using this mask. So I'll go ahead and initial that. Okay. So now if we select database, data record tools, uh, this is where we can actually manipulate some of the data. So as you can see, I've got three Reiko Rents employees in here. I've got Chris and Andrew and Matt here. I've also got Nick, who is a Lessman employee. So what you can do, uh, sometimes 
people will end up with data in their database that they don't want. They don't need it. It's somebody else's data and they just don't want to deal with it. So one really easy way to get rid of that, you know, let's say uh, you just have some other company's data. So in our case, let's say we want to get rid of Reiko rents. All we want is the data from Lessman. So in the field, we're going to select this. You'll choose company. In the comparison field, we're going to want to say is equal to, because we're only going to want Lessman. And we'll go ahead and type Lessman in here. And the logic is and or if you're using multiples, um, that's when you know those will really come into play here. And then you can see here we've got Nick Vovos. I can't see anybody else. So at this point, I'm only dealing with the Lessman company data. And from here, this is where I could export it. So now we're dealing with this data. We'll select flash drive down here for the record destination. And again, you know, we've got it blank here. So we'll select browse. And if I want to send this data back onto my USB drive, replace that blank database with, uh, with my new database that I've created, I'm going to just select the TSI port account DB, save it, and it's going to overwrite that data once we click export. So it'll remind you, you know, if you've got any data on that USB, uh, on that database that's on the USB that you know that you need, you do not want to overwrite that existing file. But in our case, it is just that blank database file, so it's okay to go ahead and overwrite it. And we'll click yes. And we've done the export. So now you can see, actually, if we go into to our computer here, open up the flash drive. So this, this database now, we'll just select OK, go with the default. So this database is now going to have uh, some actual info in it. And you can see down here, we've got Nick Vovos from Lessman. We've got his ID number, and uh, we've got the respirator in there as well, right here. And that is the basics of FitPro. Uh, so we've got your blank database. We've imported it. We've added... Uh, you know, data into the database, and now you can go ahead and conduct your fit test using that database. So today I've showed you some of the basics for managing your port account database in FitPro. If you have any questions or you'd like to learn more, feel free to give us a call at 866-736-8347. You can also find training videos on the port account and more at our training center on our website. Thanks for watching.